Hello everybody, my name is Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for yoga. And today, we're gonna to be looking at how it feels for you in your body and disregarding how it looks. So there's no right and wrong way to do yoga. Yoga is your way, not my way, your way. So trusting that you can tune into what it is that you need and then make accommodations for that. So starting in a place that feels comfortable for you, whether it's seated in a chair or like myself, I'm propped up on something or on the floor. Your legs can be out underneath you, cross-legged, it really doesn't matter again. This is not about how it looks. This is about trusting how it feels for you and giving yourself permission to go ahead and do that. So settling into a comfortable place, taking a breath in, exhaling it out slow and long and taking a couple of breaths like that. Feel free to close your eyes or soften or lower your gaze as you do that. And we start to give ourselves permission to be here with ourselves on our mat for our practice. And when we have a lot of responsibilities and things to do, it can be hard to give ourselves the mental time, even if we've given ourselves the physical time to be present. And of course, our thoughts will take us off. It's not about stopping the thoughts. It's about every time we notice that, just simply without judgment coming back to this present moment. And a great way to do that is to just feel yourself supported here. All the places that your body is supported with the earth, with different props, trusting that support and sinking into it. Allowing your breath to be natural and easy for you. And then tuning in and noticing how you're feeling today. Noticing how simply, just simply sitting, however you're seated, feels for you. And if there's something you can do to make it feel even better by adjusting your body, giving yourself extra softness or props. Noticing if there's a lot on your mind today or a lot of emotions present. Noticing how your physical body feels. Tuning into how it is that you're noticing how it feels. And if there's anything you need to change to accommodate it. paying attention to our breath. Steadying and smoothing the breath as best as we can in a way that feels natural and sustainable to us. We all breathe differently and our breath changes constantly. So breathing in a way that feels like it supports you today. It brings you closer into your introspective self rather than bringing you further away. So steadying and smoothing the breath in your own way with your own rhythm and letting go of that idea that there is a right way to do things. We really allow ourselves to be held here by the earth with that breath that we have developed that suits us in this moment. Letting go of forcing in any way, both in your body and in your breath, 
And then from there, finding that rooting with those sensations of that support underneath us and we rise from that lifting up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Shoulders are soft, collarbones are wide in your own way. Again, it doesn't have to look a particular way, but it has to feel right in your body in this moment. And with those breaths, with that support underneath you, I'm gonna invite you to start to move your neck from one side to another for from circles to random movements that are smooth and as steady as your breath. Again, can you do this without feeling like there is a right and a wrong way to do it? Noticing feelings as they arise noticing thoughts as they arise and giving yourself permission to tune into the movement and considering if you're going in one direction in circles that you could consider going in the opposite direction or changing up the movement And when you're ready, coming back to stillness. Circling through the shoulders in your own way, hands can be supported or lifted, your choice, what feels better for you. Disregarding how it looks, and just feeling into the movement, giving yourself permission to move in your own way. Back in the opposite direction when you're ready. <laughs> Noticing how it feels to start to move in your body. And maybe it's been a while, and maybe this is your regular practice. The end of your exhale, coming back to center. Now taking that right hand out towards the side and maybe back behind you a little. <coughs> excuse me. And <coughs> excuse me. And if you need to support yourself by adding a block or something um, to that, and that feels better, go ahead. This is the exhale and the inhale. I'm gonna float that arm up and across the body towards the left. Inhaling the arm up, exhaling, opening. Keeping the joints easy and smooth, the breath is the one guiding the movement. And the option is here to start to open up with your heart towards the movement too. So we start to get twisting through the spine. You can take your gaze if you want to get into your neck with that hand. And again, no right and wrong here. No goal you have to meet. Just simply noticing how this feels for you always choosing to change things where it feels preferable. Another couple in your own time. And the next time you come back with the hand beside or behind you will rest. Right hand comes back to support and the left hand comes out to the side or back behind. This is the exhale and the inhale will lift that arm up and it'll touch forward and to the right side, inhaling up, back and behind to the left. And again, if you want that support underneath you, you can take a block or anything that you need to bring the floor towards you with that left hand 
and we start to open things up only if that feels comfortable for you. So starting to take that gentle twist with the movement. That movement can be as big or as small as you like. If resting feels better for you because this is not your thing, then please listen to that. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how it feels in our body and deciding what feels good and how we want to move means that we, there's a certain amount of play there, that we try things out and decide for ourselves. We've got more or less one more. Next time that left hand comes beside you or back behind you, that's where we stay. Once again, rolling through your body, making any movements you need to, to ease any tension. And from there, we're coming over onto our hands and knees, taking any support underneath your knees that you want to. You can double over your mat, take blankets, folded towels. <clears throat> And finding yourselves on your hands and knees. And again, if always, if wrists are not um, a happy place for you to be, you can always be down on forearms. Decide for yourself how wide you want the support underneath you to be. Again, no right and wrong, playing around. Pushing into the hands or elbows, lifting up through the back of the heart, gaze comes forward. And the belly draws in, so we're supporting the lower back. Cat and cow. So on the exhale, we're pushing into our foundation and rounding up through the back ribs towards the sky. Gaze can come down or even towards your belly button. On the inhale, the belly drops and we lift up through the sit bones and through the gaze. Inhaling and exhaling. Cat and cow in your own way. And again, if there was no right and wrong way to do this, what would you allow yourself to do here? If you want to hang out in a place for a couple of breaths because it feels good, then please go ahead and do that giving yourself full permission to do what it is you need in your practice. Two more, you can always stay for longer or rest, of course. The end of your exhale will come back to a neutral spine. And from here, we're gonna take those big barrel rolls through the ribs. You can keep those elbows bent or straight, whatever feels good to you. You can get the hips involved. Again, no right and wrong, what feels good in your body. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction, change it up, and again, accommodate, move in a way that your body starts to feel ease, that it starts to feel joyful. Another two here. And coming back to that support. Any cat and cows you need, anything at all that you need to go ahead and do. And then from there, you can bring your knees towards each other a little closer. If you want more support and stability, we'll take that right leg back. Toes to the floor, and we're rocking forward and back. And again, you can always come down onto forearms if you like. Waking up the back of that right leg. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to be right here. Patting that left knee as much as you need to. Then I'm going to draw that right knee in in your own time. Take the left foot out behind us. And we're pulsing forward and back here, waking up the back of the left leg here, noticing how that feels. When you're ready, we'll draw that left knee 
back in. And from here, we'll take that right leg round and forward, give it a little help with your hand. Hands to the inside of the right leg. Ooh, and then I'm gonna turn around to the front so you can see me. So right legs forward, hands are to the inside. Left thumb spins forward. And that right hand on an inhale, we're gonna take that elbow up towards the sky, switch to the right, exhaling down. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to pulse right here. If you need to change that left hand to a place that feels more comfortable for you, go ahead. Option to start to extend that right hand up towards the sky. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to lift and stay. Now you can reach up towards the sky. You can take that um, right hand back behind you to open up through the chest, whatever feels comfortable for you. But the add on here, wherever you are, tuck the back toes, option to lift through the left knee. Reaching up, maybe back, noticing how that feels. Right hip drawing back as you lift up. Whether the knee is lifted or not, what feels best for you? Doesn't have to look a particular way. Does it supported feel better? Does reaching up towards the sky feel better back behind you? Does having your hand pulsing up and down feel better. You've got another three breaths to discover what feels best in your body. And if that is resting, then that's great. On the exhale, if that knee is lifted, we're drawing it down. And the hands come down to the inside of the front foot. When you're ready, hands come up onto the thigh and up we come. Back knee is supported and I'm underneath it so it feels comfortable. Rocking forward and back, you can um, play with the front leg. And coming to a place that feels neutral. So, rooting to rise. Great place to be right here. I'm going to switch so you can see me. So here we are in our low lunge. We're taking the left hand over onto the right thigh, turning the fingertips towards the right. Right hand, right hip, or even back on the sacrum, depending on how that feels in your shoulder. Great place to be. Steady breath. Option to come forward and down onto that left forearm, palm turns up to accommodate that left shoulder drawing out and we're twisting towards the right side. Option to stay here. Option, fixing your gaze to lift the back knee. We have a whole lot of options here. So, we're upright, we're down, we're twisting, knees down, knees lifted. And here we are. A few breaths here, deciding on what feels right for your body. Last option is to open up through that right arm as we twist. Inhaling and exhaling, rooting to find length, to rise, to get that steady breath. Next, exhale, taking the knee down if it's lifted, hand comes down, left arm supported by the left hand, twisting back to center, take a breath. On the exhale, hands come down to the inside and the front leg comes all the way back, cat and cow. Noticing how it feels. A 
And when you're ready, opposite leg comes forward. So the left leg comes forward, hands to the inside of that left foot, and the left foot heel toes out to the side. You can give that hand, or that foot a little help with your hands. From here, right hand comes out a little further, maybe thumb towards the um, front of your mat, left fingertips light. Padding that right knee for support and comfort. On an inhale, elbow comes up, we're twisting to the left, exhaling down, inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay. And again, doesn't matter what it looks like, how does it feel for you? Make accommodations for that. Option to take that left hand up towards the sky or even back behind you. And again, what does it feel like in your body? Option to pulse. Option to lift and stay. And if you're staying, option to lift the back leg up. What feels better for you? Got a few breaths here to play around, to discover what you would like to express in this pose. And on the next exhale, knee comes down, hand comes down, take a breath. From here, hand comes to the upper thigh and up we come. Making any adjustments you need to, to feel better for your body. Pulsing forward and back with the hips. And again, the back knee is padded for your comfort. Option to pulse, option to stay somewhere where it feels comfortable for you. Right hand, left thigh. Left hand, hip, or even back to the pelvis, depending on your range of motion in the shoulder as we're coming into a twist. And maybe this is it. Twisting over towards the left side. Option to come forward and down onto that right forearm, palm turns up, to open up through the collarbones. Great place to stay, right here. Fixing your gaze will help with balance. Steady the breath. Notice how this feels. And decide for yourself, tucking those back toes, if you want to lift through the back knee. Steady breath. You can stay here extending up through that arm if that's a possibility for you or not. Whether your knee is lifted or down, it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels in your body. From here, a couple of breaths, always knowing you can come out when you want to. On the exhale, if the knee is lifted, it comes down, back hand comes down, Coming out of the twist, hands come down onto the floor, foot comes round, cat and cow. And then when you're ready, big toes come towards each other, knees can be as wide as they like, coming back into child's pose, supported by your hands, forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms. Shifting from side to side, staying in stillness. Again, not what it looks like. What feels best for you in this moment? Steady breath, tune back into yourself here, noticing how it feels for you. And then when you're ready, coming up, 
tucking the toes or coming to standing in your own way. And I will meet you all the way up. Here we are standing, feet a comfortable distance, mountain pose, palms towards me. We root down and rise up from there. Rolling the shoulders softly down, collarbones wide. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Uh -huh. Then on the inhale, the palms come up, bend from the elbows if that feels comfortable for you, or from the shoulders. As high or as low as you like. If it feels comfortable, please close your eyes, soften or lower your gaze. And then notice what feels best for you rather than in the story of the right way to do things or more is better. What is it that your body is letting you know feels best for you today? Mm -hmm. Two more. Always giving yourself permission to change things up. And then when the hands come down, they'll come back onto the hips. Coming into tree pose in your own way. So feet come closer and towards each other, as close as feels comfortable for you. Fix your gaze somewhere ahead of you, about eye height, somewhere that is not moving, that is easy to focus on, with a soft gaze rather than a laser pointer gaze. Root down into the left foot. Lift the right heel, hips facing forward. Take a breath in. Exhale it out and come back to that easy breath. Option to stay here. And you can of course take a supportive a countertop, a chair, a wall, if that's more comfortable for you. Right knee comes out towards the side. Toes on the floor, lifted heel, or that heel can come on top of the left foot. Notice how that feels. Imagining everything coming in towards the midline of your body from that rooting to rise. Excellent place to stay here. You can take the um, sole of the foot to the inner left ankle. Inner left shin, inner left upper thigh, just not on the knee joint. We don't want to push the knee joint out. So notice how this feels. And again, any support you need, please go ahead. It's not about what it looks like, it's about how it feels for you. Rooting down, getting as solid as you can with that left foot or your foundation. Drawing everything into the midline of your body and finding length through the crown of your head from there. Hands on your hips will help with stability. Steady breath and a fixed gaze will help. Hands can come into heart center, lifting the elbows, drawing the shoulders back and down. Push the heels of the hands in towards each other. That can help with stability. Next option, arms can come out. The wider they are, the more stable you may find you feel. First finger and thumb come towards each other and that can help with stability too, putting a gentle pressure on finger and first finger, first, sorry, first finger and thumb. Option to bring the hands up a little higher and that's going to narrow everything and it's gonna feel a little bit more challenging. You can even bring the hands towards each other again. Palms towards each other will help with stability or you can release those fingers up towards the sky. What feels best for you? You've got three breaths wherever you are. Inhaling and exhaling, steady and smooth. Get rid of the stories and the judgments. Next, exhale, hands come down if they're not already there, and that right foot comes down. Any shaking off or releasing anywhere in your body, please go ahead and do that. 
And then when you're ready, coming to the other side. Feet come in towards each other. Let go of the inner dialogue and the judgments. And we're just coming to the other side with a beginner's mind. And we're going into how it feels, not about how it looks. Root down through the right foot this time. Lift the left heel. Keeping everything facing forward, we're just taking the left knee out to the side. Heel lifted or heel connected down to the top of the right foot. Wherever your foundation is, we're digging down into that foundation, drawing everything into the middle line of the body for our strength. And from that middle line, we grow up and through the crown of the head. Very much the same as when we were seated, rooting down, rising through the spine, through the crown of the head to find that length. Option to stay here. In a sole of the foot to the inner right ankle, you can push in towards each other to find that connection to rise up from. Foot to the inner shin, foot to the inner thigh, just not the knee joint and we're rooting down to rise. Support of a countertop, a chair, a wall, anything you happen to have handy that's stable, please go ahead. Stable breath, stable gaze. Hands can come in towards each other, elbows lift, shoulders soften, collarbones wide, heels of the hands, a gentle pressure to bring everything in towards the midline. First finger and thumb, pressure there as we bring the hands maybe wider, further up, hands can come towards each other or lift up towards the sky. What is it that you need in your body to feel Couple of breaths here. On the exhale, hands come down. From here, the foot comes down. And then release through your body any which way you need to. Hand to belly, hand to heart, breath in. Exhale it out. And then come back to that steady breath. Notice how you feel here. And when you're ready, we're coming towards the front of your mat, uh, mat for a high lunge. Very much the same as when we went down on the low lunge on the floor. Hands to the hips, fixing the gaze, steady breath. Notice how you feel. When you're ready, rooting into the left foot, lifting the right heel. And from there, we're going to step that right foot all the way back, but high lunge. So we're on the ball of our foot. And if you need support here with a chair, with a wall, please go ahead and take it. Coming right up onto the ball of that right foot and drawing the heel forward. Left foot is rooted and we're rooting into the heel, the ball and the toes. This is a lot here, simply here. The wider you take that right foot and the shorter your stance, the easier it will be. So you get to decide where you're comfortable. Doesn't matter how it looks, how does it feel? Where can you feel stable? Back leg is fired up here, so it's long. Right hip roll forward, left hip rolling back, so the hips are more or less squared towards the front of your mat. Great place to be. Play with the pelvic tilt so you come to a neutral place for you. Doesn't matter what it looks like, how does it feel? From here, 
Hands into heart center can be helpful for support. We've already been here. Rolling the shoulders down, wide collarbones, elbows lift. Option to take the arms out. We've just been here in tree, first finger and thumb. Wide, lifting, your choice. Wherever you are, we've got three breaths. Accommodating for your body and how it feels. Root into the foundation, lift from there. Noticing if you're just doing something because you think it's right. Last breath. Exhale, hands come to the hips. Push off the back leg and step forward. Bend through the knees, hula hoop through the hips. And back in the opposite direction. Same thing other side. So, rooting down, rising from there. Check in with yourself, notice how you feel. Rooting through with the right foot, lift through the left heel. And then from here, we're stepping it back. High lunge. So again, if you need support to take the leg back, please do that. Otherwise, hands to the hips. Decide on your foundation, whether it's longer, narrower, wider, closer together. Root down through the right foot, heel, ball of the foot and the toes. And we're drawing the left heel over the ball of the foot. So that left leg is fired up. Play with the pelvis. How does it feel best for you to be? Rather than thinking that it's an idea that you need to accommodate your body to. Option to stay here. Option to take the hands in through the heart center. We've already been here. First finger and thumbs towards each other. Arms wide, lifted, connected. What feels best for you? We've got three breaths. Letting go of the idea of making your body conform to a shape and allowing yourself to adapt the shape for you. Last breath. Hands come down, push off, and come forward. Swing the arms from side to side. Coming back to center, mountain pose. Checking in, how do you feel? Steady the breath. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, we're coming all the way down to the floor and I'll see you there. Take your time. So here we are down on the floor. We'll take the knees in front of us and then take the feet over towards the right side. And here we are. For those of you who are not comfortable seated um, on the floor, you can take thread the needle if that's comfortable for you, if you're aware of it. Otherwise, we're coming into 1990 and then adding on to pigeon for those of you who would like to. So, the left leg comes towards the left, and that foot is fair enough close to the right knee. Now these angles doesn't have to look this way, has to feel comfortable in your body. You might notice that that right hip is lifted way up off the floor, no big deal. You're always welcome if you want to, although it's not necessary to support it with a folded blanket or a folded towel. Getting into the hips, now, you can bring the floor up to you by taking a bolster or any support that you need, um, or you can lift up from that right hip and come over. And then from here, your hands are supporting you. Option one, to stay here. Option two 
is to wherever you are, start to bring a little cat and cow through the spine, noticing how that feels in your back and how that feels in your hips. This is not a thing for you coming down into thread the needle. If you want to, you can come all the way over the front left leg, supporting yourself, maybe even down on your forearms, anything that feels comfortable here. For those of you who would like to come into pigeon, that left ankle draws in towards the pelvis and the, as we turn towards the front of the left thigh, we can take the right leg back behind us. Again, supported in your own way. For those of you who want to add on more, flexing that front left leg, bringing the left knee out towards the side, and once again, we have another pigeon here. Doesn't matter how it looks, which one accommodates for your body. Wherever we are, we've got five breaths. Your choice, lots of different pigeons. We've got 90-90, which is kind of like deer pose and yin, or thread the needle on your back. Another three breaths wherever you are. Last one here. And wherever you are, gently coming all the way up. Left knee or right knee draws forward. Back to the legs in front, going to the other side. So, depending on where you are, accommodate yourself or where you want to be on your mat. Knees come over towards the right side, feet come to the left. And then there's the drawing open of the hip. Don't worry about that left hip lifting. And of course, if it feels better for you, you can always support it. Support under um, wherever it is in your body that feels good. Over towards that right thigh. And here we are. You can bring the floor up to meet you. You can come down any amount or you can start to play with some cat and cow spines here, extension and flexion, noticing how that feels through your hips and especially through the mid to lower back. Coming into pigeon, right heel comes in towards the pelvis and we can take the left leg back and the top of the leg is starting to face down. Hands supporting you, forearms, you can come down onto any support or bring the floor to meet you by taking um, anything you need. And then the last option is taking that right foot at a kind of 90 degree angle, coming into your own pigeon. Thread the needles always there, wherever you are, again, with tuning in, this is a really good pose, and with all the accommodations, to tune into what feels for you perfect for this moment. And if none of these do, and resting is where you need to be, or taking another um, shape, then go ahead. Got another five breaths. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels for you in this moment. And at the end of those five breaths, wherever you are mindfully coming up, and from there, taking the feet out in front of you, soles towards each other. Hands can come back behind you, pushing into the fingertips, lifting up through the heart, great place to be. If those heels are way up by your seat, 
Consider pushing the heels forward so you've got more of a diamond shape. Option to support yourself here, hands, forearms. You can take your head down as we start to draw the belly in and round through the back body. Option is to walk those fingertips down or forward, your choice. And you may be here feeling like that is as forward as I'm going to get, and that is perfect. It's not about how it looks, it is about how it feels for you. Accommodating for your body and trusting that if you tune into what your body is telling you, that is where you need to be. And if where you need to be is not in this pose, then listen to that. Got another few breaths wherever you are. When you're ready, coming up in your own time, supporting yourself, legs go long, and we're coming down onto our back all the way, unless you're there already. Arms supporting you in a T, a cactus, we'll take the feet wide to start with, to the edges of each side of your mat. And then we'll just windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Taking it easy, steady and smooth. Any SI joint issues, any discomfort in your body, this is where you're staying or taking another shape. If this feels okay, you can start to allow those knees to come closer towards the floor, one side and then the other, lifting the opposite hip. Now we're getting in through the front of the body, through the front of the thigh and through the hip joints here, the hip flexors. If you want to stay on one side and take some breaths, you can opposite gaze, the gaze away from the knees if that feels good. So we get the length, that opposite arm reaching up to find that length through the front of the body and the side ribs. And then when you're ready, option to take that to the other side if that feels comfortable again. It's not about how it looks, how does it feel for you? Coming all the way up to center in your own time. And then those feet come in towards each other. Pick up the hips, shift them over towards the right side. Let the left leg go long. Right knee draws in towards the chest, left hand, right knee, and we draw the right knee over to the left. You can support yourself with a block, with a blanket, with a anything you have handy like a bolster. Left, sorry, right shoulder is rooted down. And if that right shoulder stays down, you can take a gaze over that right shoulder, away from the right knee. Play with how high or how low you like that knee to come, how close towards the floor or how far away from the floor. This is about how it feels, not about how it looks. Is it better to have support or to have that floating? Your choice. Steady breath. If there's another twist that works for you, hopefully um, you've taken this into consideration and rested in your chosen twist. Gaze comes to center when you're ready, knee comes up, and then both knees to the sky, feet to the floor, shift your hips back to center, and then over to the left. Right leg goes long. Left hand, right. Right hand, left knee, left shoulder stays rooted, and we twist towards the right. With that left shoulder rooted, you can take the gaze over towards the left, and here we are, steady and smooth breath.
playing with how high or how far away that knee comes, how close towards the floor, if it feels better supported, not supported. Tune into your body to understand what it is that you need. And then when you're ready, gaze comes to center, knee comes up, both knees come in towards center and we shift back to a central place. Option for constructive rest here, feet apart, knees towards each other, this is great for the lower back. If there's another place you would like to be for relaxation, lying down on your side, on your belly, on your bed, on your recliner, please go ahead and take that now. And as you get settled, I'm coming up to a seat so I can guide you. So settling into a place that feels right for you. And again, this is the accumulation of the whole class. If you are in a place where you are uncomfortable and you know that within a couple of minutes you can settle yourself into a much more comfortable place, please do that. This is about really giving yourself permission to change what it is you've been told into what it is that works for you, not against you. So settling in. As you settle in, notice the places you are supported. Notice if there is any offering that you can give yourself to accommodate what feels better for you? Take a breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out like a soft breeze. Another couple of breaths just like that. And then let the breath come back to its own natural, easy rhythm. And ask yourself, how does this feel? Tune into your body. Tune into your heart. How does this feel? Am I giving myself full permission to do what I need to do for my own best good? Allowing your bones to sink heavily into that support underneath you as a way of releasing tension. Joints easy. inner organs soft and relaxed. Muscles letting go and releasing. Release the muscles through your face. Your jaw. Notice habitual patterns of tension in your body, like your neck and shoulders, lower back and belly, hips, heart space and chest, and any other areas that you may habitually hold tension. Is there anything you can do here to offer yourself softness? And 
Although in yoga we practice on the mat, the hope is that we take what we learn on the mat and we take it into our lived experience of the world. So rather than conforming to what it is other people are telling us we should be doing, or we should feel, or we should look like, learning to tune into your own inner resources, to your body, to your needs, to accommodate for what feels best for you and start making choices from that place. Not how it looks, not how other people tell us it should be, but how it feels for us. And if there is one thing, one small thing that comes to mind that you are accommodating in a way that is not necessary because you are not meeting your own needs, consider setting an intention to make a different choice, a choice that feels better for you. rest here for as long as it feels perfect for you to rest. And for those of you who want to finish your practice, simply notice the support underneath your body. Trust that support and sink into it. Noticing how it feels to trust. Start to deepen and lengthen your breath in your own unique way. Start to awaken your body in your own way. And if you would like to come to a place where you would like to finish your practice in the next few breaths, please do so. Whatever that may look like. Taking your hands into a place of reverence that feels perfect for this moment. Offering a bow of your head towards your heart. An acknowledgement of the wisdom within inside, the teacher within all of us. If we get quiet enough to listen. And after the listening comes the practice of honoring that teacher, that inner teacher. Thank you for practicing from my heart to yours. Namaste.